Hey you guys, so today I'm here for another review and I was sent this book again by Entangled Teen and I requested it and it is How Not to Fall in Love by Lisa Brown Roberts and I gave this 4 out of 5 stars to 3.5. I actually was leaning more towards 3.5 and then all of a sudden I was like no, this was, this was a 4 out of 5 star book for me at the time. I was into some light contemporaries and while this did deal with a couple of things that might not be considered light, it was more towards the like contemporary genre in my opinion. Now I have to say this contemporary was not 100% realistic. I mean her dad was a motivational speaker and they made like a bajillion dollars from it. Not a bajillion but he was like a millionaire or something like that and he was just a motivational speaker which was not 100% realistic in my opinion. I don't think motivational speakers really make that much money. I mean I'm sure that they make some money but like I don't think they're millionaires from it. I might be wrong about that. That was just what I got from it and I heard a lot of other people agree with me so I'm gonna go with that. I thought it had kind of an interesting criticism of social classes and that just me might be me reading into it way too much but I mean from her going, her dad disappears. I forgot to give you a summary but basically her dad disappears and then they start to lose money and they start having to sell things and uh, get rid of their house and all these horrible things happen because they don't really have any money anymore because he runs away um, and doesn't tell anyone why. So I, going back to the social classes thing, I just thought it was interesting because as they are downgrading, um, they're kind of mixing in with people they didn't used to and I just thought that was really interesting and I don't know, I just... I really liked it and a lot of contemporary deals with this. They often have a social class imbalance integrated into the plot in order to bring a little bit more drama. There are often times where the main character Darcy says something to her love interest that is kind of snooty in the beginning that kind of really brings out that th their social classes are different but then as she kind of goes lower and lower um, I really liked how independent she became as a character. I thought that was really well done. Her character development was great and realistic and I really really liked it. Darcy became very very hard working as they began to lose more and more things. She you know went apartment hunting and her mom actually uh, became an alcoholic for a lot of this story. She was um she kind of drowned her problems in alcohol and Darcy kind of had to be the mom and take care of things. I mean she gets a job, uh, she starts to like sell things, she starts to figure things out for her mom, sets up an estate sale. So it's really really nice to see that change because it and it didn't seem out of place either. I know a lot of the times in contemporary someone will just change their personality and you're like that's not realistic at all but I really felt like she stepped up to the plate in a positive and realistic way and I really enjoyed that. I mean sometimes she was breaking down because of it and that was very, that's I think what made it very realistic because she was like I don't want to be doing this but I have to. I also really liked her romance with Lucas. Um, I thought that he was really there to help her out during this difficult time and there was a lot of flirting going on but I felt like they had like a deeper connection as well and I also really liked that it wasn't insta-love although she did think he was really attractive from the very beginning. It was more like a crush thing and then you know she's trying to stay platonic. There were a couple times where she pulled away from him where it didn't make any sense to me because she had acknowledged her feelings for him and then she was like nope I have to run away. The only problem I had with their relationship and it wasn't even their relationship I had a problem with she had these nicknames for him in her head that were pretty ridiculous like she called him his royal hotness a lot and it just made me want to cry. I was like, oh no, 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 no. Do not call him his royal hotness. Please do not call him his royal hotness. That is gross. It was just, ugh, it was cringy. I hated that part. And he called her shaker girl, which was bordering on cringy, but not quite. So I was okay with that one, but her calling him his royal hotness, like she started trying to come up with the names for him in her head and they were all just gross. I'm sorry, <laughs> they were just bad. I liked seeing all of the characters develop as they got to know one another and become part of each other's lives. I loved how she got to know her uncle Charlie better. I also really liked trying to figure out what 
the heck her dad was doing, where he was, why he ran away, and I thought that was a really cool mystery aspect to the story, and I really liked it. As I said before, the writing was very easy to read but occasionally cheesy, so I mean, there were a couple times in the dialogue or just in the descriptions that Darcy has while she's thinking that I was kind of like, ooh, ooh girl, no, please don't, don't ever say that out loud again or just never say that out loud, stop thinking that. So I, it was easy to read, it was just there were a couple times that I was kind of cringy um, and I don't know I mean I'm a teenage girl but I don't call people his royal hotness um, I just maybe I'm weird but most people don't call other people his royal hotness overall four out of five stars um, 3.75 to four out of five stars I really enjoyed this I read this really quickly and I had a lot of fun reading it thank you so much for sending it to me in Tangled Teen and accepting my request for this review because I really wanted to read this and I really appreciate it so let me know if you have read this book, what you thought of it, um, any other books that you want me to read and review because I've been doing a lot of book reviews lately and I know that they're not the most popular videos but I do really like making them because I mean that's the essence of booktube. It's reviewing books so other people know whether or not they'd want to read them. So let me know and now it's time for my random fact. My random fact is that I really don't like fizzy water. Um, I don't mind soda that much but um, it's not, I mean soda's not my favorite anymore. I've actually like, I've gotten kind of addicted to water which sounds weird but I don't really like flavor I mean I only like Snapple and occasionally Crystal Light Lemonade but I pretty much stick to water now and um, I just hate fizzy water I can't deal with it the bubbles just attack your tongue and it tastes bitter I don't know how to explain it it's just gross so that's my random fact for today thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye